Hi, I'm Chris McDonough, and this is my son Andrew. When he was 14, he played four soccer games in one day and helped his team win the state championship. But less than two days later, he was diagnosed with leukemia, sepsis, and went into cardiac arrest. The doctor said he wouldn't live through the night, but they didn't know Andrew. Over the next 166 days, he had over 50 operations, four strokes, a brain aneurysm, until he died in his sister's arms. And that was when we started the Andrew McDonough Be Positive Foundation. We named it Be Positive because that was Andrew's blood type and because that was the way he lived his life. And now we fight childhood cancer by providing research grants and helping families across the country whose kids have cancer. We really need to increase the amount of money for research into childhood cancer because every school day, 46 kids are diagnosed with cancer. But less than 4% of the government's research funds go to childhood cancer research. That means over 96% of the government re research funds are funding adult cancers. And if I had a dollar, I would want that dollar spent on childhood cancer research. And in my case, those aren't just words. Because I'm battling cancer now, too. And I still think kids should come first. So I have a message to the folks in Boston, Cleveland, Chicago, Phoenix, San Francisco, Tampa, and Washington, D.C. I know that Susan G. Komen just pulled their walk from your areas. But I also know you've got a passion for making a difference. So I'm asking you to help us make the difference in the life of a child. Let's bring a Be Positive fundraiser to your area. Contact me at chris at bepositive.org. That's C-H-R-I-S at bepositive.org. And if you'd like to find out more information about the Be Positive Foundation, please visit bepositive.org. Let's talk about bringing a Be Positive fundraiser to your area. Now don't get me wrong, all cancers are bad, but I don't want any mom to go through what I'm going through. Let's put kids first. I look forward to hearing from you. How'd I do, Andrew?